Charles Condor was a great name from Australian, the great period of Australian art in the late 19th century, the period which we call the Heidelberg School, also known as the Australian Impressionists. And of course, Condor was a young man who had his origins in England, living in Sydney and becoming interested in art. And in 1888, he's got a bit of a head start. He's made his first paintings, but he comes uh, face to face with Tom Roberts. And Tom Roberts is a bit older than he is and also a lot more experienced. He arrived in Sydney in 1888 and that's where they met in February. By April, they're firm friends. They've spent hours discussing paintings together over bottles of wine and their paintings are merging in terms of their character and quality. So what you see is that Condor is adopting a lot of what Roberts has already achieved and he's also uh, compositionally and, and artistically uh, aligning himself to the older artist. But in 1888, it's also this, this meeting, this combination of Roberts and Condor creates some of the most amazing paintings that Condor ever produced. Now the painting we're talking about today, however, is called The Fortunes of War and it's an unusual de de depiction of some figures on a beach and there appears to have been an incident, an accident. It's been the subject of very uh, detailed analysis by uh, academics and scholars and yet with Condor we know that he's interested really in creating a narrative of a moment. It's kind of like the fatal colour where you have the woman standing in a paddock with a bull about to charge her and you have the figures on the beach at Mentone. These are impressions and these follow the kind of notion of an impressionist painting which is not really about subject, it's really about depiction of contemporary and modern life. So The Fortune of War is actually quite an unusual painting for uh, Condor at, in this period, in, 19, in, sorry, in 1888, at the time when he was producing his best paintings. Here's this unusual work which possibly depicts one of the earliest um, encounters uh, between Aborigines and between white, um, white colonialists. And the painting does represent, there's a, there's a curious kind of uh, ambiguity with what's going on there. The painting has got the title uh, written clearly lower right, The Fortune of War. What that means, we don't know. It's possible, possibly a reference to this encounter between Aborigines and white people. But um, there was a pub in Sydney called The Fortune of War. Whether it has some link to that as well, it's unknown. It remains to be further developed as an idea. But for the moment what we have is an extraordinarily rare and beautiful and fine work by one of Australia's most important artists of that period.